Hi guys, welcome to another video. I'm your host, Itai. So today what we're going to be doing is building a gaming computer for architectural design and um, presentations. So it's supposed to design the plans and do the renders. We're talking software like Akikart and Lumion and some of other software I don't understand. So this PC has to be super powerful. Um, we're talking, it's got a Core i9 processor, uh, an, an RTX 30 series graphics card it's just gonna be amazing guys and good for rendering and presentations and actually doing the drawings and work and I know it games but that's not the point of this video so what we did here is we came up with um, blueprint for the hardware where we would have maximum maximum performance with a relatively okay cost. So what we're gonna do, this is all the parts that we have. Let's get into it. Let's start with the motherboard. This, so it's got all the ports that we need. Uh, USB 3.2, USB 3, um, HDMI, DVI, display ports. The VRMs are cooled well, four slots of RAM, double type, type C for the front six SATA slots <laughs> I mean like this is a this is an okay board it's not the best but the Z490 chipset enables us to overclock our processor Core i9 10900K it's a 10 core 20 thread processor uh for the cost I think it offers smashing performance we could have gone like 12th gen 11th gen but uh to get this amount of performance for that money would have been ridiculous this one's super dope for the RAM, we've got the Clev Crass RGB RAM. Uh, it's 3600 megahertz, 32 gigs, should be enough, 16 by two. Should be enough for all the, the, the programs you wanna load and all the professional stuff. Very good RAM, Has happen, just happens to be RGB. We've got a Kingston uh, A200, two terabyte NVMe SSD, not PCI Gen 4, but guys, like we were saying, Gives us the performance that we need, like super competitive performance uh, and reliability that we need. This PC is going to be running like pretty much all the time. So we got a reliable cooler. This is the Antec Neptune 200, 240 millimeter liquid cooler AIO. Does happen to have RGB, but I like the fans for their noise level and how they are really good at cooling. Could have gone air cooling, but just decided for a liquid cooler we're not overclocking or anything special but this should offer us uh, you know some peace of mind and reliability when it comes to the power supply we've got the Graham DS Kratos E1 600 watts Graham DS isn't well known like in America Europe and stuff but this is a very reliable power supply also happens to have RGB um, I could have gone like a thousand watts but I figured for what we're doing this meets the power requirement for everything. Now for the heartbeat of the machine. This is the GeForce RTX 3070 GPU, RTX 3070 Asus dual card. It's got two fans, fancy backplate. I like the size. It's, um, it's a good graphics card. So all the outputs that we need. Uh, this is one of the best uh, performance Price to performance cards out there. We could have gone like thirty ninety, but it's it's just ridiculous in the in the pricing. This one offers the the power, the reliability, and the okay price. You will be able to render anything on this card, even if you were to to to, to use it for like four K gaming. This would still be like very variable usable. For the power of a twenty eighty Ti, which is last gen's beastly beastly gpu that was going for 1500 in this mighty little machine so i spent a good amount of time looking for a casing ended up with this this is the cougar mx440 casing it's got mesh at the front three fans uh it's gonna be two fans at the top mesh also and one fan on the back for exhaust oh, man this looks so good it's the, like the perfect size airflow not looking too flashy, but still performance oriented. Just exactly what we were going for. I just love it when there's hardware all over the place. Okay, so here we go, the inside of the case. Ah, oh, it's got enough space for everything. 
and the fans by God. We're gonna turn this on and put everything together. You're gonna love it when it's done. Okay, now the build is done. Turned out super nice, man. Loving the look, the mesh. Let's close it up, turn it on, run some benchmarks.